Hello everyone. Welcome back to Food Catalyst. Here we are going to analyze and discuss part 3 which is from question number 51 to 75 of JPSC FSO exam 2024 of shift 2. You can download the PDF of this video in our Telegram channel and you can get connected with us in the social media platforms listed here. Our motto is simplifying safety and igniting knowledge. And these are the QR codes for our WhatsApp channel, Telegram channel and YouTube channel. Let's move on to the questions. First question is that is 51 question number 51 is a uh, precursor of niacin is options given are tryptophan, leucine, isoleucine and uh, tyrosine. So the answer is tryptophan. So uh, niacin is a, a B vitamin which is vitamin B3 it is an essential component of human and animal tissues and occurs as part of nicotinamide coenzymes nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate these are the key components of intermediary metabolism and uh, this uh, dietary sources or precursors of tissue niacin comprises of both preformed niacin and the amino acid tryptophan which can be readily converted into niacin in our body and uh, these are the reference sources next question is celiac disease is caused due to options given are zein or zenin gluten and hordein so the answer is gluten gluten is a wheat protein and uh, celiac disease is a chronic digestive and immune disorder that damages small intestine which is triggered by eating foods containing gluten and it can be diagnosed by a blood test biopsies of small intestine sometimes it can be genetic too uh, and the treatment is uh, uh, just a gluten free healthy and balanced diet so the uh, reference was given next question is which of the following falls in the category of low acid food option a tomato b turnip c carrot and d cauliflower so the right answer will be cauliflower so uh, um basically turnip carrot and cauliflower all of the three are low acid foods but cauliflower has a ph of about 5.6 and the other root tubers which is turnip and carrot uh, falls uh, the ph falls below 5.6 so the right answer will be cauliflower and in the given reference source the the there is a cat the food the vegetables have been categorized uh, into most more alkaline moderately alkaline slightly alkaline so you can take a look at it next question is curcumin is extracted from as we all know the answer is turmeric so curcumin is a curcuminoid uh, a component uh, it uh, it comprises of about 1.5 to 3 percentage of the rhizome turmeric and um, it is it is also known as diferulo feruloil methane it is a yellow pigmented powder and the reference source is given here and this is the structure of curcumin and uh, these are the properties of curcumin uh, which is anti inflammatory anti proliferative anti metastatic anti angiogenic anti diabetic hepatoprotective anti athro arthrosclerotic anti thrombotic anti arthritic neuroprotective analgesic immunomodulatory and pulmonoprotective all these properties uh, uh, uh can be exhibited by the curcumin only if it is ingested uh, orally next question is beriberi disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin b12 vitamin b2 or vitamin b1 and vitamin b3 so the right answer is vitamin b1 which is thiamine thiamine is a first vitamin and it is water soluble 
and it is found normally in meat pork beef legumes whole grains and nuts so beriberi disease is caused when the thymine is uh, not absorbed or uh, uh, absorbed by the body so uh, the milled rice and grains have small amount of thymine so this polished rice causes the removal of bran layer which is rich in thymine so if a person is consuming only polished rice then he will be susceptible to this disease the reference source is given next question is what is glycemic index of carbohydrates so the answer the glycemic uh, index is uh, nothing but uh, how this uh, a measure of quality of carbohydrates based on their direct effect on blood glucose levels within a period of 2 hours after having a meal okay so the answer will be b it uh, so what is glycemic index of carbohydrates it shows how quickly a carbohydrate increases blood sugar level so carbohydrate in, uh, carbohydrate containing foods are classified based on how fast they are ingested and absorbed during a post uh, prandial period this phenomenon is called glycemic index uh, so how we calculate glycemic index it is uh, as a reference point glucose is used with glycemic index which is equal to 100 so this is a reference source next question is what is the primary role of consumers in preventing food adulteration so the primary role will be to report the uh, suspected adulteration in any products uh, the consumer just bought so adulteration is basically the act of degrading a food quality by incidental or intentional means through addition of chemicals or extraneous matter it is basically done for the selfish interest of uh, food vendors for monetary gains so consumer awareness had been made with resources like dart book to detect food adulteration that is nothing but detection uh, detect adulteration with rapid test so the sources of such adulteration should be identified and immediately penalized so the next question is minerals responsible for proper nerve functioning is option a sodium option b potassium option c calcium and option d is magnesium the most right answer will be magnesium uh, so the main function of magnesium is maintaining the electrical potential of nerve and muscle membranes whereas sodium and potassium also have a function similar to this but it is it just conducts the nerve impulse so the most uh, uh, appropriate answer will be magnesium so you can find the uh, a reference for this question in the book food facts and principles by shakuntala mani so the next question will be which of the following acid pres is present in cola drink obviously the answer is uh, phosphoric acid cola is nothing but a sweetened carbonated soft drink flavored with uh, cola flavor uh, the cola flavor is um, signature flavor among carbonated drink okay so this uh, cola fl uh, flavor is obtained through phosphoric acid only and uh, sweeteners are also required so phosphoric acid is also known as orthophosphoric acid it is a solid non-toxic inorganic acid most common form of phosphoric acid is colorless odorless and it is like 85 percentage uh, syrupy aqueous solution mm. uh, american beverage association defines phosphoric acid as a substance which is a flavoring agent in soft drinks and it is a preservative that provide the tartness so the next question is agar is extracted from the answer is algae agar is extracted from red sea weeds which is so called uh, which is called as the agarophytes mostly extracted from algae belonging to two genera which is gelladium and uh, gracilaria Agar is the most common phycocolloid used as gelling agents in fooding, food industry. Agar, the major cell wall component of these algae, is a polysaccharide consisting mainly of a succession of agarobios units. The reference source is given below. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज केमिकल नेम ऑफ विटामिन हेच रेटिनॉल बी कैल्सिफेरोल टोकोफेरोल एंड ऑप्शन ऑप्शन बी इज बायोटिन सो राइट आंसर इज बायोटिन द नेम विटामिन हेच इज गिवन बिकॉज बायोटिन इज मेनली रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हायर हेल्थ सो दैट्स वाई इट्स नेम टैस विटामिन हेच सो बायोटिन इज अ वाटर सोलिबल सल्फर कंटेनिंग विटामिन इट इज टेबल टू हीट एंड लाइट द पी हेच इज बिलो लाइक फाइव टू एट it is susceptible to oxidation it is a coenzyme required by several carboxylating enzymes which have the capacity to add or remove carbon dioxide daily requirement for uh, adults will be 0.4 mg and the good sources of biotin are liver kidney and egg yolk there are reference sources given below <clears throat> the diet next question is the diet recommended for hypertensive patients is option a brat option b dash option c low protein and option d is high fat so the answer will be dash uh, the <coughs> full form of dash is dietary approaches to stop hypertension a typical serving guide for a uh, patient following dash diet uh, is given below uh, it uh, it is given in the reference source but what uh, but this diet basically contains about 5 servings of vegetables per day and 5 uh, five servings of fruits per day and about 7 servings of carbohydrate and low fat di- uh, dairy products which is about 2 servings per day and lean meat products also about 2 servings per day and nuts and seeds about 2 to 3 times a week this is a diet uh, recommended for hypertensive patients which is called as dash diet Next question is richest source of vitamin C is option A amla lemon uh, barbados cherry or and guava the right answer will be barbados cherry because it is also known as west indian cherry and uh, this is a plant which grows as shr- shrub the it is called as richest source of vitamin C because barbados cherry contains both 1680 mg per 100 g so the dairy requirement of vitamin c is the maximum amount is like uh, 1000 mg so it is it will be sufficient if you take one or two fruits uh, in a day and goa has about uh, 228 mg per 100 g and lemon has about 53 mg per 100 g and orange has about <coughs> 83 mg of vitamin c sorry uh, 59 mg of vitamin c per 100 g so the next question will be which method is commonly used to detect chemical adulteration in food the answer is gas chromatography so the other is, uh, uh, the chromatography is an analytical method used to separate chemical compounds and food items based on their polarity or boiling point so other than gas chromatography liquid chromatography is also uh, mostly used so if we take uh, 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 for example if we take milk uh, the adulterants can be melamine skim milk powder starch or gl- glucose or uh, reconstituted milk in that case we can use um, hplc or gas chromatography or gcms the reference source is given below and the next question is if vegetables and fruits are washed after cutting which of the following vitamins are lost obviously the answer will be vitamin b and c because these two vitamins are water soluble vitamins and if you cut the vegetables and fruits and if you expose the tissue side of the fruits and vegetables into water obviously the vitamins uh, b and c is going to get leached out and uh, vitamin c is also an antioxidant which which means it can get oxidized when it is uh, exposed to air and um, and it leaks out of the fluids released after cutting or in water if we rinse after the cut produce so uh, vitamin uh, <coughs> vitamin b is also uh, lost by cutting vitamin vitamin b is not lost by cutting or when the tissues are exposed to air because it's not an antioxidant but lost when the food is boiled or soaked in water for a long time 
uh vitamin b rich foods are obviously meat leafy vegetables liver and eggs and vitamin c there are uh, papaya sweet potato and other fruits like uh, we uh, saw in the previous question amla goa lemon etc so the reference source is given below on the next question is which of the following cooking techniques retains more nutrients in vegetables as compared to boiling so the answer is microwaving and uh, steaming also retains uh, the nutrients to a certain level but as we discussed before some of the uh, water soluble uh, vitamins that is vitamin b and c can get destroyed while steaming so if we take microwaving the short cooking times and the reduced exposure to heat are the main things which uh, retains the nutrients in the food and uh, no browning and less appeal are some drawbacks and uh, this in steaming the vitamin c retention will be around 0 to 89.24% and if we take microwaving it had less impact on vitamin c and with high retention of vitamin c which is like uh, more than 90% using minimal cooking water and cooking time uh, should result in higher vitamin c retention so these are the reference source so the next question will be tocopherol is the name of which vitamin option a vitamin b12 option b d option c b6 and option d e so the right answer is vitamin e vitamin c is a fat soluble uh, compound i mean vitamin e is a fat soluble compound and it is best known for antioxidant activity it is synthesized only in photosynthetic organisms and acts as a protective component which is it is also sensitive to light due to uh, its conjugated triene structure it is basically found in soybean sunflower and almond oil and tomatoes and carrots as well animal fats also have a tocopherol but in a very uh, lower quantity so the reference source is given the next question is fat percentage in milk cream is here the right answer is 25 percentage but if you take uh, the fssa classification it is classified like uh, uh, in case of uh, low fat uh, milk cream the percentage range is around 10 percentage the percentage uh, the in, in case of low fat cream uh, the fat content should not be below 10 percentage and uh, it should be around 10 percentage to 40 percentage in case of medium milk cream that is medium fat milk cream 40 percentage to 60 percentage and high fat about 60 percentage so cream is a fluid product uh, com- which is comparatively rich in fat in the form of an el- emulsion of fat in skimmed milk obtained by physical separation from cow milk or buffalo milk or any other species so the answer is 25 percentage the reference is given as well the next question is bmr stands for obviously it is the answer is the basal metabolic rate which is the amount of energy that is expended at rest in a neutral environment after the digestive system has been inactive for about 12 hours the metabolism when waking up in the morning after fasting during sleep that is the bmr BMR is enough energy for brain, central nervous system, heart and other internal organs and uh, skin to function properly. The reference source is given. Next question is which technique is commonly used to detect adulteration in honey? Obviously we have uh, many uh, dart uh, experiments which can be uh, done at home with honey but the options given are all analytical techniques. So the right answer will be mass spectroscopy. Uh, <clears throat> to be more precise, to detect adulteration in honey, isotropic ratio mass spectroscopy is used. Uh, we can also use gas uh, chromatography mass spectroscopy. So, honey is basically adulterated with sugar, high fructose corn syrup, beet inverted sugar syrup, uh, rice molasses uh, to increase the volume and sweetness and to see more profit. Uh, so, the reference is also given. The next question is red color of tomatoes is due to the presence of what? Carotin, lycopene, anthocyanin and betalin. So the right answer is lycopene. Uh, basically lycopene is found in tomatoes but it is not uh, found from the initial state. 
तो टोमेटो बेसिकली कंटेन्स टू पिगमेंट्स फॉर टू पिगमेंट्स इनिशियली इट कंटेन्स ओनली क्लोरोफिल विच इज़ फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड इट इज ग्रीन इन कलर the second one is uh, lipin which is red when tomato start to grow they contain less lycopene and more chlorophyll which gives them green color and during the harvest harvest season uh, the days shorten and the temperature drops causing the chlorophyll to dissolve and lycopene to take over the shade of the fruit which is red during this time uh, the sugar level uh, rises and the acidity drops and the tomato softens so that is when the uh, tomato becomes ripe and the color uh, becomes red so normally a fresh tomato contains <coughs> contains about 0.88 to 7.44 mg lycopene per 100 g uh, this uh, source is taken from the book food facts and principles by shakuntala mane uh, the next question will be which food born illness is associated with the consumption of raw or undercooked uh, shellfish so the options given are botulism norovirus hepatitis a and some infection so here norovirus and hepatitis a uh, we think of the bo- both are right answers if we look into this matter uh, eating raw shellfish uh, such as undercooked oyster or clams causes vibrio infections and norovirus infection as well as hepatitis a infection uh, the symptoms will be vomiting diarrhea nausea stomach pain and uh, body weakness uh, so norovirus the symptoms starts at about 50, uh, 10 to 50 hours after the exposure and hepatitis a it takes about 15 days to 50 50, 50 days it's, it takes about 15 days to 50 days so here both are right answers norovirus and hepatitis a and if you want to uh, look into the matter even more clearly hepatitis a the uh, symptoms are, uh, start a bit later uh, the infection onsets more earlier in the case of norovirus so the reference was given the next question is rancid flavor in milk is primarily due to the answer is butyric acid A rancid flavor of milk is due to the breakdown of fats into fatty acids and glycerol which is the hydrolysis of milk fat by enzyme which is uh, that is lipoprotein lipase milk contains considerable amount of short chain fatty acids particularly butyric acid these uh, short chain fatty acids range from 4 to 26 carbon atoms so Uh, butyric acid contains four carbon atoms so the right answer will be butyric acid that is uh, butyric acid is responsible for the rancid flavor in milk these are the reference sources and next question is energy value of 1 gram of carbohydrates is 4.1 kilo calories and uh, the energy value required for uh, uh, fat will be 9.45 kilo calories and for protein it will be 5.65 kilo calories per gram the reference was is given and which of the following is an example of a processed food product so the options are fresh fruits canned soup whole wheat bread and steamed vegetables so these fresh fruits and steamed vegetables are uh, comes under unprocessed or minimally processed foods and other uh, two which is canned soup as well as whole wheat bread comes under Uh, ultra processed and uh, processed category so in this the question uh, the depends upon the perception of this question um, i think the right answer will be canned soup because it is uh, it is the most processed it contains more uh, uh, additives and it does not have any dietary fiber it contains sodium and, and everything and trans fats as well so this classification is based on uh, nova which is a food qua- uh, classification and it, it classifies the food based on four levels of processing that is uh, unprocessed or minimally processed processed culinary ingredients and processed food and ultra processed food and uh, this um, so the answer will be Canned soup and the reference source is given. So that's all for today. Thank you. 
and we collect our daily uh, free quiz at 7 pm in our telegram channel thank you